Opening day at Del Mar is by far our biggest day. You know, we don't have any soft opening. We get, don't get to warm up. It's, we're thrown right into it. Over 42,000 people again this year, and it's just crazy. What a beautiful day. Yeah. I got the newest members of Donkey Island, Tim and Danielle, got them to the track. I, I wanted nothing more than, for them to have a beautiful VIP experience. Our box, you've been here before? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She would be here for the biggest day of my life. Mr. Strauss. Here, the best person. How are you, sir? What's up, bud? What is going on? Hi, I'm Craig Dato. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Tim Sullivan. Hey, Tim, how you doing? Good to meet you. There is some schmoozing involved, talking to some of the owners, talking to the big betters. So, you checking out the box? Check out the box. Everything good? You guys have done at the racetrack. Yeah, the Strauss McCarran box. Chris McCarran, yeah. Hall of Fame jockey. I noticed your name's on top. Well, if he wanted to pay any money towards the box, he could have had his name on top, but you know McCarran. <laughs> Do you think the Phillies will even win one race? I think you can take great friend stables and the, and, the, and, the, and the beautiful women's group and add them all together, and I think we're still going to crush you guys together. Where does that come from, that, that confidence, Shocker. that swagger? Yeah. Comes from there? Well, I hope we get at least one or two head-to-head -head races. That would be fun. I have to buy a horse myself. I'm giving it to Dr. Yow and run against you guys. All right. I've known Jeff Strauss for a long time. He's always been a nice guy to talk to, but boy, all of a sudden, the, the, the cockiness, the throwing down the smack about Donkey Island versus Great Friends, it kind of took me by surprise. Line's been drawn. Game on, I love it. I'm the voice of God. We're the face of Del Mar. We own this town. In this town, it's C and B C. We're here to be seen winning. We don't get out of the institution. I love to see the plastic surgeons from all over Southern California come here and show off their work. Those are mine. I did that. See her lips, see her boobs, I work. Everybody tends to be having a good time, and drinking a little bit, glamorous or sexy or outrageous. It's probably the best people watching in the world. It's a very, very sexy environment. People are drinking, they're partying, they look their best, they're ready to go. It is all about sex, booze, and gambling on opening day. This will be my 17th or 18th opening day. It's great. I mean, the buzz in the air. 90% of the restaurant will be full of people that I've known forever. Mike, is up? What's up, man? Good luck, buddy. Good luck to you. Opening day is all fun and fashion. All my friends want to know what Selma is going to wear and I can't wait to show it off. <laughs> of course I want to win. But a lot of this has to do with fashion, being an opening day and being at the races, so everyone has to look good, of course. <laughs> you don't just pull out your opening day gear in the morning. You have to put a lot of thought into it. You have to decide you know, is this something that's been in my closet for a while, or is this something I'm breaking out for the first time? All about the hats. I've never seen such outrageous hats in my whole entire life. People were having a hard time walking. Like, Boo was literally pumping into people, knocking them down. The big floppy hats for me, it's hard to get underneath to give a little kiss. And I like to do a little Euro kissing. What's up, Steph? You know, so I like to get underneath and mwah, and mwah. But then the hats get in the way. We are the Flying Phillies. The Flying Phillies looked phenomenal with an F. What I love about the girls, by the way, is, is you've got a smorgasbord. I mean, if, if you have a particular type, you've got a lot of different choices. It's not <laughs> She's going to shoot me. Love opening day. Yeah, I don't, I don't dress up on opening day. If I had my way, I'd wear my chef coat. Well, first of all, it's embarrassing for Donkey Island because all of your investors 
want to stand there on opening day when there's thousands of people outside the paddock saying, who's that? Who's that person over there? Hey, who's that? Scotty's a bit flashy and you know he wants that he wants his horses on opening day, so he'll put a horse not necessarily where the horse belongs, he'll do anything to get a horse in on opening day. You want to walk through the tunnel and you want people to be cheering your name. Let's go, go great friends. They're gonna be saying that on opening day. They're not gonna be saying go Donkey Island, because Donkey Island won't be there. I'm looking forward to watching the races from my box and having fun with the flying fillies. It's a lot of fun to run opening day until you don't run very well. Right. Funny in the house. Hi. Don't forget about me. <laughs> Thank you. So, Steve, I got a question for you. Why the hell don't we have a horse running the first day? A lot of people think it's really cool to run a horse on opening day. And, and while it can be fun, if you run a horse in the wrong spot or you don't do well, it just ruins your whole day. The Phillies have a, a, a horse in this race. It's not going to run very well. Yeah, but you see what's um, going on in the seventh, right? Great friends. Great friends. Scotty Scott and Navari. Right. What the hell? We've had to learn the hard way, and great friends and flying Phillies are going to learn the hard way too, as they put horses in on opening day that really had no business being in the races they were in. It just—it's just random. Right. It's just how they schedule the races. We're running tomorrow. Jeff has a, a screw loose sometimes. I can't figure it out yet, but I'm going to keep my eye on it. You got to trust Soul. He knows his stuff. He's kind of the brains of the operation. No, no, we're, we're not going to bet against ourselves. Brother, the party is up there where that awning is right there. Food and beverage, all that. Great. He likes to think he's the mayor of Del Mar Racetrack. Everywhere I go, it's a lot of, how you doing? Good to see you. A lot of handshaking, a lot of hugging and kissing. You don't know who you're going to see, and probably more importantly, you don't know who's going to see you. <laughs> I love Cap. I call him Cap. He's a very supportive uh, friend and to this day. Uh, like I said, he's the most uh, supportive uh, individual in local media. Paul Baden is what I call a DCP. He's a dear, close, personal friend of mine. It's a nice jacket. Yeah, look at my Here, let me see the inside of this thing. And I'm trying desperately to get the champ into horse racing. You guys know Paul Baden? Horse racing, I am a, a true novice at it. It's Paul's first opening day ever. And I want to show him that we're champs just like he is. Of course. Love that. You guys look great. Thank you. You're welcome. I want opening day to be the day that people realize that flying Phillies are forced to be reckoned with. Right. Have you seen the seven horse in this race? Arlington Knights, the, the Phillies horse. This is flying Phillies horse right here. There's the horse, okay? There's the horse. That was his speed. The buyer speed. Don't let, don't let these women fool you. They're smarter than they do. They're, they're smarter than you think they are. So they know no their horse. B-E-Y-E-R. Right. I was texting the girls and just kind of get them all riled up before the races started and just put a little fear of horse racing in them. So if somebody scratched, he would have a chance. He would get it, not last minute, it would have had to be yesterday. You know, would you crash the paddock for that race? Hey, want to crash the paddock? Gold. Yes, flying Phillies. The jockey wasn't bad looking at all. Thank you. Come on, come on. It was an incredible feeling just meeting our jockey and he's wearing our colors, our silks. It was very emotional and, and meaningful to me, especially because those are my dad's colors, black and gold. And to see him walk out there like that, it was a really good feeling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, oh, this is one of the guys. His name right. is Donkey Island. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's that's no part of an ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am here to teach the girls how to get a winning horse. Oh, this is nice. what we're dealing with. So. I'm sorry, the panic is only people who are running horses. Oh, yeah, that's oh, right. Yeah, I'm Jeff. sorry, Jeff. Do you have a horse in this race? No, let me buy it for 1% of a horse, and I can have a horse in this race. I went up to the Phillies, and Gato sees me, and he kind of asked what I'm doing there, and I told him, I'm here to make a wager with the Phillies. I think your horse will come closest to last and first, which means if, well, that's good, so that's a great bet. He comes in first to fifth, you win. Six to 10, I win. Here's what we win. We win a spa day. Nannies, petties, facials, massages, 
The whole nine. If Five. you lose, right? If you lose, will you cook dinner for me? All right. And serve me dinner. And Fine. I get to bring one guest. You ain't got it. All right. All right. Give me a whole of a menu. It's like taking candy from a baby. This is all about who's here. Who's here to be seen? Who's here to party? Who's here to show it off today? We had a horse in the first race, so we made our way down to watch it. Oh my God, look at that! Here we are, having our horse spray out of the gate, and I don't want to look like a fool right now. Well, let's say a bet on it, it's not good. It's never easy to win, it's never easy to be the best one. I'm used to doing the work by myself, and now it's the horses doing the work, the jockeys doing the work. So obviously I think there's definitely some luck involved. Getting married, you gotta get healthy. Why do we do this during the racetrack season? Get rid of the bacon, get rid of the trash. Got a lot of money right now. Salad? I'm doing my second cheeseburger going away. Jeff's not gonna make this bet, and so I think I can make a couple of bucks on this one. Um, every time I turn around, he's throwing down one of his Kobe burgers, so I, I gotta get Mayo's fiance or somebody to, to get him to stop. I got a piece of action on this bet, but I think you've had enough. Losing 30 pounds might be a little bit of a struggle, but watching the girls' horse run on opening day, that bet, that bet was over before it started. All right, let's go, let's go. Let's go, number seven. Come on, dead last. Come on, dead last. I mean, we didn't, we didn't know for sure, you know? We thought he's a bit of a long shot. The odds weren't in his favor. completely sucks. I hate to lose. Uh, it was heartbreaking watching him, you know, go from second to third to second. The horse went out to the lead, and unfortunately, we're, I'm watching the fractions, and I know what's going to happen. When you're going, doing good, your horse is in second place for all the, the, the whole race till the end, you know, and then it gets overtaken. kind of hurts. But they see the horse in first place, and they're inexperienced. Basically, Paul told them, Wow, we have a chance to win this race. Pretty much ruined the rest of our day. <laughs> and that horse finished exactly where I knew it would finish. Actually, maybe one spot better. Let me, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take to Texas Cambodia. Ask how a horse did. I don't know who's cooking because I don't like to cook, so not me. How are you? All right, good to see you. While everybody else here is now partying and having a great time, I'm here working today. Brothers, this is my man Paul Vaden, former world boxing champion from here in San Diego. I'm about to leave the broadcast and head down and watch our horse race. When we have a race, Scott does uh, put on his uh, microphone remotely and go watch the race and kind of give a play-by-play. -play. So I leave the radio show, I go down to the paddock, my listeners get to follow me live, they get to follow the entire story as it's happening, it's like reality radio. It's like the greatest multitasking job of all time. We actually already know what we're gonna cook is something really crazy. delicious. A deal's a deal. A deal's a deal. It's a dinner. We're gonna, we're gonna, gonna cook. cook. I'm gonna pan the menu. So Nancy? No, no, you don't have any say. Right. No, no, no. I right. you have no say. What's up, girls? Oh, 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 oh. Selma's actually incredible. I, I really like her a lot. Uh, I don't know what she was saying to me, 
but I think she was trying to make some sort of a bet on our horse. If the horse doesn't win, then I fly everybody to Miami. Yeah. Why would I want to do that? <laughs> Why not? You're not fun at all. I, I'm not fun. I'm not being fun. I'm going to tell you guys. I'm not that confident in this horse. Yeah. <laughs> They're trying to make some kind of a bet with me about taking them to Miami if my horse doesn't win. Look, we have a chance to win, but I'm not real, real confident. Right now we're eight to one. Right. And that's not exactly the public telling us that they like our horse very much. Uh -huh. What do you think? Have a deal or not? No, so I'm all, I'm all, so I'm, instead of Miami. But we want to go to Miami. That's all awesome. Do you want to go to Miami? Not really. I'm from there. I'm good. I've got three girls of my own in my house, three daughters plus a wife. I've got my own four flying fillies, if you will and spending money to take these girls to Miami because some horse didn't win. Not exactly what I would say in the budget. All right, yeah, so we're going to Miami, is that right? Yes, yes. Whatever you guys say. Whatever you girls say. Come on, let's go over here. Wait, you didn't shake. You didn't shake on it. Come on, ladies. You lose, we go Miami. I'm like, what? Are you talking about? Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my I need to leave early. I mean, I have no desire to watch Scotty's horse run. I, I have a sold out restaurant and a party going on tonight. Of course Jeff leaves opening day early. I mean, Donkey Island doesn't have a horse running. We do, we'll stay and play, and he's out of here. Uh, Navarre is in the seventh race on opening day. He's a nice horse. He actually has a chance to win the race. I feel very confident he'll finish in the top three. All right, well, let's go win a race and see what we can do. Can we take you over here to number two? Sure, and watch sure. and observe a winner, okay? Sure. Uh, this had the feel of like fight week, leading up to the paddock and then through the tunnel. It had that atmosphere, that energy of something special about to take place, and uh, I liked it. It's, it's bad luck in horse racing to watch from the winner circle. So I like to stand, you know, maybe 100 yards away from the winner circle and watch it from a good vantage point. But don't go to the winner circle. Bad karma. We've never won on Olympic, and I just want one year where we actually race and win on opening day so that when we're done and we're celebrating and we're partying, it's because we won. It's not just because it's opening day. I do deserve a medal. I do. You want to win and you have expectations of winning, and when you lose, it sucks. But you just so badly want to get on the board as quickly as you can. And, uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, that was bad. My condolences, really. Yeah. When I've got these girls standing by taunting me because we lost, it makes it twice as bad. No excuse, no, 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 no excuse for this. We've got to do much better in, in, in that capacity because very disappointing and it was it was something that, that was foreign to me because I was watching and, and thinking, okay, here we go, close the show and got closed. I can't wait until the, the Flying Phillies have their horses back on the track. I'm going to intentionally root against all these chicks, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm licking my wounds and here comes Nancy with that bony little butt of hers and she hip checks me gives me this giant bruise. Oh my goodness, it was a playful tap. Give me a break, He's such a girl. I may initiate some litigation against her. Yeah, I don't really have time to mope and pout about the way things go. There's parties to go to and the season is on. That's me, man, I'm Scott Kaplan, that's the way I roll. The Just for the record, whatever's expensive is good tonight. Listen, it's a grande, can't you?
Dinner at the Pompalous Grill on opening day is like the place to be. We're booked God knows how long beforehand and uh, there's nothing like eating the loose. I'll stay on the board when we get busy and expedite. Guys, I started my diet today. You see me pick, you have every right to yell at me. You see me pick twice, you can even hit me. I'm preparing these beautiful steaks and I'm stuck to eating celery and carrots. Oh boy, I should have had my head examined for this bet. They couldn't make it to the A-list, they will. <laughs> I'll tell you, you had a great day. Just watching the ponies run and the fillies lose. and We haven't even had a horse run yet. I'm having a great day. Hey, we got to turn tables. You know how it goes. Are you guys ready to rock and roll? I need a drink. One, two, three, drink. This is my place. These are my people. These are my friends. And I get there, and who do I see? The Brian no, no, no. I, I did that on plan. You know, I had Selma come up to me and tell me how boring it was and how lame it was. <laughs> but for me, that was a great party. <laughs> we didn't win today, but we ran. And that, that's an important thing. How our horse can win. Great friends didn't either, and Tuck Island didn't even have a horse, so. We're ready. Nothing is as big and as intense when it comes to environment as opening day, so we can deal with it. For as great as opening day was, and as beautiful as everybody looked, that's, that's now in the past. Now it's time to start looking forward to starting to win some races.